Yo, what's going on everybody? I have another quick tutorial slash guide to be able to help you climb the tower faster. Today, we're gonna to be talking about faultless defense break or FD break for short. FD break is an advanced neutral tool to be able to handle opponents with fairly long ranges. So that can help you with Ramlethal, Nagaryuki, and basically any characters with extremely long range. First, let's talk about why you want an FD break. So in Guilty Gear, after you dash, there's a dash or slide animation that happens at the end of it. During that, you don't really have control of your character and they continue to slide towards your opponent. And so what happens with people not realizing is that they end up dashing to their opponent's attacks. FD break is a way of covering ground safely while still maintaining complete control over your character. While it may not seem like a big deal at first, not having control over your character and dashing into your opponent's attacks makes it harder for you to punish them. Because even if you block it, you're stuck in block stun and don't have the ability to punish or capitalize on that. And a lot of people tend to underestimate the amount of time or recovery frames that characters have after whiffing a long, long range move like that. So in the case of Nagaryuki or Ramlethal, when they use their long range slash buttons, they're super vulnerable after that. But if you end up blocking it, you don't have the opportunity to punish them. If you threaten to run in and then use FD break to quickly stop, if an opponent was trying to intercept you by using one of their far hitting moves like a slash, you could then stop and then run in and punish them for that. This is a great way of scaring your opponents into not pressing buttons and allowing you to get in for free. People are scared of Chip's up close mix up game and that's why they try their best to keep them out. A great way of punishing them for trying to keep you out is using that FD break to then make them second guess when they would want to do it. The more times you're able to get in for chip with chip for free is the best time to be able to do anything or go crazy on them. All right, the best way to perform FD break is by using the dash button on your controller to cover that ground and while you're dashing to be holding back. And while you're holding back, whenever you want to come to a complete stop, you just press two of the attack buttons at the same time. The moment you see the green bubble, you're now able to just release the two buttons and continue to hold back, which allows your character to scoot back a little bit more, which will even help more when it comes to like making moves whiff on you. And also saves meter because you're letting go of the FD at the moment that it comes out. Two housekeeping tips I would like to give you guys is I have my dash button binded to R2 on the controller because R2 reminds me of gas in racing games using like a car. So that's a good way of associating that with myself. Want to hit R2, I know Chip is going to go forward. He's going to go just like a car. And so that's just a great way of start trying to think about how to bind buttons to something that you're familiar with. Also, the second tip that I would like to give you guys is that when you're performing FD breaks, I like to use the standing back instead of down and back because that's very useful when it comes to blocking overhead. So if your opponent tends to just jump at you with the air dash randomly, you're already ready for it and you probably get an insta block and a nice punish. However, if you use down block, uh, when you cancel that FD break, you don't actually scoot back a little bit. You just stop in place. In this situation, it's better to be prepared for a surprise overhead than a surprise low. Not too many people are gonna dash at you and do it low, but most people will dash at you with overhead really quickly. As always, if you guys enjoy the content and enjoy the tips, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It help us grow and continue to climb up the tower faster. As always, peace out.